from 319 JMP. They, they're asking, what can you improve on skill-wise? Great question. What is a skill within the domain of freestyle rap that you either haven't tried or haven't mastered but plan to? Um, great question. Well, there's a lot of things that I can improve on uh, skill-wise. Pretty much everything could be improved on um, because music is a lifelong pursuit. So I'm always practicing. And I will say before I dive in on maybe some like theoretical things that would be cool to master, uh, I'm huge on foundational stuff and I'm huge on practicing the basics. Um, you know, I, uh, there's actually, I, I heard, uh, there's a, a great drummer named Tommy, uh, Tommy Igo, who I heard, uh, say this the other day in a video where he was talking about like the basic, um, drum beat. Um, like the, uh, the beat from Billie Jean where, you know, it's just booms, pats, booms, pats, booms, pats. But that drum beat is on like, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of recordings. It's like the most basic beat. And it's usually the first beat that you use as a drummer. And he was talking about sometimes he'll have students who are more advanced that come and start studying with him. And he'll be like, all right, let me hear that beat, you know, that basic beat. And they'll be like, oh, no, no, man, like I'm so far past that. And he says, you just showed me that you're not. And that resonates with me so much because it's infinite, the level of depth that you can get into, even with the most basic beat, like the milliseconds of where you place the kick drum relative to the hi-hat, the milliseconds of how the snare is aligning with the hi-hat and how all the parts come together to create that feel. Um, if it was that easy, like you just learn it and now you check it off and now you got it then, um, you know, everybody would be able to make it feel as good as it feels on any of the classic records that we hear it on. Um, but, but that's not the case, right? So for me, I'm just all about like drilling the basics. I've talked a lot of times about like the setup punchline technique that I use, which is basically just flipping it. Um, if you get thrown a word while you're freestyling, don't say the word first, say it second, right? And say a rhyming word with it first. Um, so if the word is hand, don't say, I got the mic in my hand. Now I'm about to do a freestyle that's unplanned. Just reverse that. Off the top, do a freestyle that's unplanned. You know I crush it when I got the mic in my hand. Um, that's kind of like one of the most foundational techniques uh, for freestyling off top, in my opinion. And I still practice that in its basic form um, pretty much every day. 